Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Coach Craig's Sports. Today is Tuesday, July 26th, and this is the MLB DFS video for today. So in today's video, we'll be going over a recap of yesterday's picks, talking about my core plays for today's FanDuel main slate. It is a 13-game main slate overall. Then going over to my article over at webetets.com and talking about my top GPP stacks for today. But without further ado, we'll get started with a recap of yesterday's picks. We're going to start off at the pitcher position with Sean Mania, $9,900. Unfortunately, he only got to 10 points yesterday. The bottom of the fourth inning was not very kind to him. Gave up a couple of runs. Then there was an error, so there was a couple of unearned runs, and he just could not get out of the fourth inning to save his life. When you give a major league team an extra out or two, it's very difficult to overcome that, and that's what we saw with him yesterday. It was a good matchup. Unfortunately, just did not play out. And then at second base, we had Marcus Simeon at $3,200, and he had unfortunately ended up with zero points yesterday. He was a miss in 0 for 5, and that was a pretty good matchup for him overall. just didn't work out. Then we had Jeremy Pena at $2,900. got to 30.9 points, so he was a hit in the second overall shortstop on yesterday's slate. Kind of the saving grace yesterday, but but altogether, it wasn't a very pretty day overall. Then we had Hunter Renfro in the outfield. Some pretty good history versus Kyle Freeland, but Freeland was on top of his A game yesterday. So Hunter Renfro ended up with zero points. He was a mess 0 for 4 on the day. Really unfortunate there you know coming off the all-star break he was starting to heat up once again but just kind of a down day overall there and then we have my boy austin slater at twenty five hundred dollars got zero points yesterday he was a mess over three on the day however it is important to note at the beginning of the day tyler gilbert was supposed to start this game a left-handed pitcher and it ended up being merrill kelly by game time a right-handed pitcher so not as quite as favorable matchup for austin slater a guy who does crush left-handed pitching very well so just kind of unfortunate there not the best day overall but you know this time will be dfs you're going to have down days every once in a while so looking to bounce back pretty strong once again today but with that being said we'll get moved over to my core picks for today so we're going to start off at the pitcher position. We're going right back to the Padres pitcher today and Mike Clevenger at $8,100, averaging about 25 fantasy points per game on the season. Obviously, they brought him along kind of slowly throughout the season since he was returning from injury, but he's kind of at the point now where he's pitching deeper into the games. He's been more effective. This Detroit Tigers team, I know they kind of went off yesterday, but not the greatest offense in the world. Mike Clevenger does have some pretty good experience versus a lot of these hitters, or at least the older hitters on the team. So definitely have some interest in him once again today. Then we move down to third base with Austin Riley at $4,200, averaging about 12.5 fantasy points per game on the season. Goes against the Philadelphia Phillies today and Aaron Nola. And he is 13 for 34 with three home runs versus Aaron Nola in his career. So definitely a ton of upside there. Aaron Nola has kind of struggled against the Braves in the past. This year it's been a little bit better. He had one good start versus them and then kind of one uh, middle of the road start as well. So we'll see how it all shakes out today. But Austin Riley, definitely someone to consider. Then I do have Francisco Lindor at $3,600 at shortstop. Averaging over 11 fantasy points per game on the season. He's 5 for 9 with one home run versus Jordan Montgomery, who is the starting pitcher today for the New York Yankees. So some pretty good upside there once again as well. Then the outfield, we're going right back to Austin Slater at $2,500. It's supposed to be Tyler Gilbert starting tonight i know that was the case yesterday but did not end up being the case once again he is two for three versus tyler gilbert in his career so i would expect a strong bounce back game once again today then last but not least in the outfield we have ronald acuna jr at 4100 dollars averaging just under 12 fantasy points per game on the season another guy that's hit aaron nola pretty well throughout his career as he is 11 for 29 with three home runs versus aaron nola so definitely offers a ton of upside there once again but with that being said, if you go with the five players that do have listed, you have $12,500 remaining, just over $3,100 per player. Once again, there's some decent value options since we're still kind of coming back from the All-Star Bake. If you want to pay down for one of those, you can definitely do that. Or if you want to take a little bit more balanced approach, you can definitely do that as well. But with that being said, we'll get moved over to my article over at webetets.com and talk about my top GPP stacks for today. So the ones that I do have for today... There's a little bit more risk than there is on other days, but we're going to start off with the Atlanta Braves, who have hit Aaron Nola very, very well throughout his career. Obviously, as I mentioned with Austin Riley in the core picks, Aaron Nola had one good start versus the Braves this year and then one kind of middle road start, but throughout his career, he's kind of struggled versus these Braves hitters overall. So I do like taking a chance on the Braves hitters once again today. Then we have the Houston Astros going against Frankie Montas. Montas is kind of that hit or miss pitcher. Sometimes he pitches pretty well. Sometimes he pitches pretty poorly. And it's the same thing when it comes to his history against the Astros. But I do have some interest in guys like Jose Altuve, Yuri Gurriel, Chaz McCormick if he does end up starting. Uh, you could look at Jordan Alvarez, Kyle Tucker if you really want to go there as well. 
Then we have the Minnesota Twins going against a rookie pitcher making a second career start in Ethan Small for the Milwaukee Brewers today. Should be a pretty advantageous matchup there. And he is the guy that's been known to walk some hitters throughout his minor league career. So there definitely should be some opportunities to score some runs in this game for the Twins overall. Then last but not least, we have the Chicago White Sox, my favorite team, going against German Marquez. This game is at Coors Field, and Marquez has not pitched very well this season at Coors Field. Could look at guys like A.J. Pollock, Tim Anderson, and Jose Abreu. Those are the three that have the best history of him, but obviously this White Sox lineup does have a little bit of potency to it as well. But with that being said, these are my core five picks as well as top GPP stacks for today, July 26th. As always, if you have any questions related to MLB DFS, be sure to leave them down in the comments below, and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. Also, be sure to let me know your favorite play on today's slate, whether it's someone from my core five picks, whether it's someone from my top GPP stacks, or whether it's a completely different player you guys think I missed. Definitely interested in hearing what you have to say. But with that being said, if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Definitely would appreciate it. Helps to build the community that we're trying to build here at Coach Craig Sports, which is one that's truly for you, the viewers, helping you with your DFS. Mainly MLB DFS at this point in time, but once we get back around to the NFL and NBA regular seasons, I'll be covering those two sports as well. And then with that being said, if you are a new or current subscriber who's yet to do so, also be sure to hit that notification bell down below. It's going to let you know every single time I post up a new video. Like I've been saying, I post up daily MLB DFS videos just like this. But with that being said, that's all I have for today's video. Hopefully you all enjoyed. And then last but not least, special little shout out to each and every one of you watching today's video. I truly do appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Definitely means a lot to me and I hope each and every one of you has a great rest of your day.